Alice LPS. Hey everyone, and today I'm going to be showing with you how I styled my Princess Luna's mane and made her show accurate. Things you'll need some small clear elastics, scissors, a thin straw, a wide straw, a brush, some bobby pins, hairspray, an old spray bottle filled with just water, black sparkly nail polish, silver sparkly nail polish, and a spare chest plate and tiara. First you'll need the Princess Luna toy you would like to style. I've already done a main styling treatment on her which is why her hair is so shiny but it just needs to have that style done to it. If you want to learn how to do that to your ponies I'll leave a link up in the top in the eye annotation and in the description box down below. But for now we're going to be skipping that step and going straight into parting her hair. I'm parting here at the ears so she has a section of hair for her fringe bangs area and then the rest of the hair just drapes over her shoulder. I'm just dampening the roots with a spray bottle of water and brushing it through so it's all smooth. And now I'm sectioning her hair around the horn so she has a piece on the outer side and on the inner side. So there's a piece of hair on the front of the horn, in between the horn and a little bit behind the ears. I'm going to be securing it there with a clear elastic. As you can see, everything just holds together nicely. That hair is going to be dripping over the side with the elastic, so it covers it up nicely. Cut the straws into roughly 2 inch pieces. You'll need the big one and the small one. Next, taking the back section, combing it through and spritzing it with water. I'm going to lightly curl the mane with a wide straw. Just wrap up the hair around the straw and secure it with a clip. Now moving on to the tail, spray it with some water and brush it through. And I'm going to be curling the tail with a thin straw, so just wrap it up with the straw and secure it with a bobby pin. Next I'm going to be creating her signature accessories. The Princess Luna that came in the toys never had her little chest plate or her crown. So I'm going to be using an extra Celestia chest plate I already have. And an extra My Little Pony tiara. Taking the sparkly black nail polish and the silver nail polish. And painting a silver circle in the centre of the chest plate. and the top and bottom I'm painting silver as well. Once that's all dry, we can fill in the yellow plastic with the shiny black nail polish. This nail polish isn't very opaque, so it took quite a few coats. After those few coats, we're going to be doing a little blob of black in the top right hand side of the circle. This will create the signature crescent moon shape she has. And that's the chest plate complete. Now we're moving on to the tiara. It is just completely black, so I'm covering it in a few coats of that shimmery, shiny black nail polish.
and once it's painted all over I'm leaving it to dry. Speaking of waiting to dry, Luna's hair is dry. Time to remove those clips. As you can see those straws made some really pretty curls. And once the accessories are dry you can apply those as well. Let me know in the comments below what you think of her. And don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!